Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen how you can create your first TestNG test. And then we also have saw about the, some of the annotations, for example, after test, uh, before method, after method, and before test. So now, because we know that TestNG is a testing framework and it is really, really helpful in, uh, you know, the verification of uh, the actual results in your test cases and the uh, the core concept is basically to uh, make sure that the test cases that you're writing are actually being either passed or failed so to uh, you know demo that or how you can use test ng to you know verify the actual content or actual results of your test case we'll look into this particular tutorial so we are mainly going to focus on the assert class that is provided in testng and how we can use assert class to do the verification of our test cases okay so let me um, simply uh, what we'll do is so you know, to explain you the scenario what we'll do is we'll simply navigate to any website say for example ebay.com right and then we want to verify the title that we are getting in the in this particular browser matches the expected title that we are will be storing in our test case or from reading from the external file so that's a simple test case that we want to verify and uh, see that testng how testng handles that and uh, what are the results that we get so to get started with that let me simply copy all the dependencies that we had in the previous project for you know um, the java uh, for uh, selenium web driver and uh, test ng as well and i'll copy this in my current project here so i'll simply paste everything here okay and then we'll simply close it um, close this one there is some error here let's see what the error is so it's basically uh, dependencies okay the tag is missing so uh, dependencies yeah okay so now you can see that uh, dependencies tag got added if i'll save it uh, the error should go now okay so now the pom.xml it will uh, fetch all the selenium uh, library so we are using you know 3.141 the stable version and then web driver manager to to basically manage the um, driver uh, the chrome driver or firefox driver okay so i'll simply close it uh, we have already explained all these concepts in previous tutorial if you haven't watched those please go through and watch these um, and now we'll simply create a new test case which will say uh, verify the title okay so let me um, just you know copy or create a new you know class and I'll say verify title test all right and click on finish and now what we want to verify we want to basically launch the browser and then verify the title that we are getting from ebay.com uh, whether that matches with the expected title that we have all right so we'll create a method to verify the title so we'll simply say public uh, void and then i'll say uh, title title test okay and below this what we'll do is we'll launch the web driver okay so we'll launch uh, the browser will launch that particular URL. So let me copy the you know basic code from the previous uh, demos. And what I'll do is I'll simply copy these lines here, and we'll reuse just to save some time. And now we are launching this particular URL. Okay. All right. So what we are doing is we are basically you know like uh, launching chrome driver um, chrome browser then we are navigating to ebay.com all right now to get the actual title okay so before you know the actual um, getting the actual title what we need to do is we need to have some you know uh, the uh, the title that we're expecting okay so the title as we know it will be a string so we can store it into the string uh, variable so we can say string title 
and then what title we are uh, looking for so i'll simply go to ebay.com and just right click and inspect and we'll see what uh, the title is so we'll say control f and just start typing in title and here is the title that we are looking for so this is our say for example this is expected title that we are looking for okay so that's stored in uh, the variable a string variable title and now we can use uh, you know assert method to verify the actual uh, the expected title with the actual title and uh, the actual title how we can get is so we can just simply say here is expected title and then string actual title and in selenium web driver how we can get the title we can simply say driver dot get title right and this will get the title of the page that is open ebay.com and it will be stored in the actual title okay now the next thing to do is basically to verify whether the expected title is equal to the actual title that is coming from the uh, url or the page that is being launched all right so in order to do that there is an assert class in testng all right and if we go to you know go to any browser and we'll go through the java docs so we'll uh, follow the same approach that we have been using for learning selenium for test ng as well because if you know how to read java docs and navigate through java docs you will be you know finding a lot of good information and you will be learning a lot more as compared to just you know um, following what what i am uh, writing in the code so uh, just search for test ng java docs and okay so javadoc.io so this is the link if we go to javadoc.io and then here you can select the version that you are looking for okay so if you simply go to javadoc.io right if we go to this particular you know url javadoc.io and here you can start typing the group id for any of the you know uh, framework or um, you know package that you're looking for so we know that it is test ng so we can you know just start typing test ng and select org.testng and then here i can simply say test ng and uh, you will see that it gives you the detail the best to the latest version right so if we go to this particular link so you can see javadoc.io doc test ng if we click on this link it will uh, navigate to you to that particular latest java doc now we'll go to this package org.test ng and below this or within this package you will see all the details or the classes that are present and in order to do assertions you need to use assert class so this is assertion tool class if you go to assert you will get all the methods that are available in this particular class right so what this tool class does is it basically you know uh, presents assertion methods with more natural uh, parameter order and the order order is always actual value and expected value if you scroll down you will see all the methods that are supported in assert class so assert equals uh, you know with the boolean um, two arrays with a boolean uh, you know return type and then you have you know character or integer float uh, string so now in our case because the title is a string so we'll be using assert equals and uh, with the string so these are all you know the methods that are available and uh, these are uh, different overloaded method for assert equals so what we can do is we don't need to so in test ng we don't need to create an object of this assert class we can simply call the method uh, assert dot assert equals right and now because we know this is you know like like we are uh, asserting the string type so we simply need to scroll down and we'll go to find wherever uh, we are able to see the string right so we can see string actual and string expected okay so simply select that and what we are uh, what is the actual string that we are trying to assert actual title we simply pass on that and the expected right so that's the only step that is required in order to assert the title of this particular page okay 
and now this won't be a test ng test unless and until you annotate okay so if i just simply right click and click on run as you will see that there are no run options available i have to go to run configurations and you know i i need to uh, set up the run there but it will be a test ng test when we say add the rate test right so we annotate this particular method with the test ng test annotation and now you can see that i am getting run all run and debug for this particular method okay so if i click on run all now it should open ebay.com and verify the title that we are getting from ebay.com if it is equal the test will pass right so you can see here it it is all green okay so if we go to the details here so you can see it is all green and it is passed because the title that was expected is equal right so it's you can see the test here uh, title test has passed now say for example the title that we are looking for doesn't match right so i, I pass on certain garbage characters there and now the title shouldn't match okay and let me uh, close the browser so i'll say driver.close and if i run this particular test case now it should uh, you know uh, fail the test and we'll see how you will be able to uh, see the failed test case in test ng right so it uh, this time it will uh, it won't get the title that we are expecting okay and uh, then you will see that the test case has failed if we go to the details here you will see that there is an exception so there is an assertion error expected was something the with the garbage character that i specified but then actual result is something else right and that is why the test case has failed and testng has marked this particular test case as failed so this is very you know like basic assertion uh, in uh, test engine how you can use uh, you know basic assertion if you want to read out more details you know uh, just go through these methods there is a description uh, what all these you know methods will do so assert equals this these will uh, you know assert two boolean uh, uh, if two booleans are equal and uh, the second one is basically you know like you can specify your message along with the verification of the boolean values so you can provide your custom message as well comma separated and similarly there are other you know like data type verification whether byte or you know character or you know object or float uh, so there there are a lot of you know uh, necessary methods or uh, test ng framework provides a great detail and other methods that are very helpful in performing your automation testing and verification or assertions in selenium automation so that's pretty much all about uh, you know the basics of assertion and how you'll use assert method for your basic you know test verification hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching